Welcome back to base camp, WNC. Well, it's finally arrived. I told you on the video, I think I shot on Thursday, Friday, something like that. I think it's Thursday, that uh, I've been waiting on this thing. And this is the 3,000 watt solar pump. Takes your AC well pump off grid. So it then becomes solar with the AC backup, battery powered. We, uh, of course, I can get into a rant and rave about salesmen. They said this thing was ready to go and ship four months ago, and this person's waited four months to get this thing because they weren't quite ready to go. Um, just putting up with professional salesmen. So it makes me look bad to the customer, but this thing is 3,000 watts. It'll go up to one and a half horsepower, 220. This is a MPPT charge controller and an inverter. And it is a split phase 220 inverter, which means it has two lines on it, each of them 110 and a neutral. And uh, let me walk up this other end and I'll show you how it comes out. But they make a, a 3,000, a 6,000, and now a 12,000. And what that's for, this one right here will do up to a one and a half horsepower well that's all this one's going to work the six thousand and ten or twelve thousand will be able to power a well pump and like your off-grid cabin uh rv vehicle whatever you have this is the output cable right here but you have 110 volt 110 volt a neutral wire and a ground and this other cable here is just strictly for the AC charger. This thing has a 220 volt, 20 amp battery charger that can be hooked to 220. We'll go into that later on. But this right here comes down to a power cord that would plug into your well pump. Or you can come off these four leads with your two 110s, your neutral and your ground, and go right into a breaker box. This right here is 3,000 watts with 125 amps maximum coming out of it. So this got plenty of power for a well pump. Uh, Tuesday, this is a Saturday, Tuesday we're going to be installing this thing and we'll go over it a little bit more. But I wanted to get to see it, how simple it is. It comes on this board. I don't quite know why they got the handle holes in that thing. I guess that must have been direction. But the customer that I'm putting this thing for will really like it. See if I can get it to focus. One simple on-off switch. This powers the whole thing. This breaker right here stays off. The only thing it is for, if you hook it to hook it to the grid power to the charger, all this does is run the battery charger. This thing will be hooked up. The owner has. A whole bunch of panels for a system that's defaulted like i said on that video i'll show it to you but this thing here is 3000 watts and it comes with three solar panels two batteries everything mounted on this board you have a positive and negative cable that go down to the batteries you have one cable here this is the outflow so in other words, they even send you the, you would wire this onto your well, and we'll show you how that we're doing that. And then it just plugs into the cable is all it'll do. And the other one, this one here, will plug into a socket in the wall, and that is for 220 grid power. So if you don't have grid power, you just leave that breaker off and don't worry about it. Or you can just go ahead and hook up to it. And what that's for is on. We're here in Western North Carolina. So let's just say you made a mistake and put your solar panels on top of the roof and it snowed two foot and you can't get up to clean them off. Well, you can either plug this into a generator. And the neat thing about this inverter, and I'll have to look it up by Tuesday, is a generator you can plug into that AC cord, plug it right into your generator, and it will not, it will go straight to the pump. Or if you get the six or 10,000 watt ones, 12,000 watt ones, it goes straight into your power. 
it does not go it does not have to go through the batteries and then come back out so grid down situation bad weather snow something like that you can run it off a generator or you can just have it hooked to the battery power but it comes on this board got a 200 amp catastrophic fuse in it this is your solar disconnect they do have to do a little bit better right here somewhere it says off and says on but we'll show you that on tuesday i got my label maker out we're going to put some labels on this thing but this is how it comes from from me i sell these things now um this is how it's built it comes on this board you got two batteries to hook up cut into your well line rig that up hook your solar panels up and that's it running this system turning it on and off you have a disconnect switch for the solar panels and an on off switch for the entire thing but like i said this one's a 3000 watt and it's going to run this well it'll take this ac powered off well ac powered well off grid and dc pumps other than a diaphragm pump and most of them everyday use get about six months this thing will overcome the problem of starting and stopping under pressure on your water system but i want to show you this thing right here it finally got here and let me go ahead and pull the price sheet out and i'll give you some prices on this thing okay this is what everybody's going to want to know this is the 3000 watt water secure and it will go up to a one and a half horsepower deep well pump or 3000 watts of power it comes with 200 ample deep cycle sealed batteries and three solar panels and the price is $32.99 but $3,300 the 6,000 watt system that comes with four batteries and six panels does 6,000 watts and it is $4,000 and a 12,000 watt which then comes with six batteries and 12 solar panels is $5,700, dollars $5,700. $5, $5, I love that salesman price bit. But as I said, this is a quick video. It should have been an unboxing, but I hate them videos. I think that thing is disgusting. So anyhow, I uh, we will be putting this, installing this one here on Tuesday. We'll be going over amps and draws and watts coming in and the maximum and the volts and a bunch of stuff some people may have questions for my email and my contact information right here on the bottom email me if you have got a question or you're interested uh we also have a new water pump coming out the company has a new variable speed startup water pump for off-grid water system type systems pumping uphill uh we'll be going over that in a couple days but stay tuned for my install video on Tuesday, and we're going to put this thing through the test, and hopefully I got everything to hook it all up and get it operational and get it going. And if I can be of help, contact me below. Um, tell your friends about it. Like it. Share it. Tell them to subscribe. We're gaining bits and pieces all the time. Thank you for watching.